In this section, I want to talk about another BGP attribute that is called multi-exit discriminator. And what is the use of multi-exit discriminator or MID in brief? MID is used to select an entry point. You saw that we use AS path, local preference, and wait to select an exit point. But here, we are using some other configuration to select an entry point into our network. Assuming that we have a server connected to router 1, if uh, traffic comes from AS100, uh, the traffic may go, for example, this way to reach to router 1. But I want the traffic to this server go through router 3 and reaches to router 1. I'm, prefer I'm preferring this link over the other link. How can I do this? I can do this using MID. Now, I have no control over AS100. Actually, MID is an attribute that is sent to other ASs. Now, you can see that, again, I have changed my topology a little bit. This is because I had only two routers in AS100, and that was not OK for what I am going to show you. I needed three or more routers, or only one router. So I prefer to have only one router there, and that's the only router that we have here, ISP1. ISP1 has two links into our network. I have removed all the default originates. I have removed removed all the you know, advertisement. And now I am going to router 4 and router 3 and advertise the only prefix that is, for example, my server network. Let's go to router 4 and on BGP networks add the server, for example, network that is 1110 slash 24 click on ok and you can see that this is advertised to isp1 i want to do the same thing on router 3 so let's go to router 3 and add this 11110 slash 24 to the use network so this is advertised to isp1 as well okay if i go to isp1 now I can see that in my routing table, I can reach to 1111 through router 3. And of course, I can reach to 1111 through router 4. Both of them have the same distance. So one is preferred over the other for some specific reason. Let me check the reason. If I double click on this, I can see that origin is IHP, what I prefer. If I go here, I can see that. The distance is 20, the scope is 10, the target scope is 10, uh, the scope is 40, the target scope is 10. If I select this, I can see that, again, the same items are here. But the only thing that I can say is the metric to, you know, reach to router 3 is less than, uh, the metric to reach to router 1 from router 3 is less than the metric to reach to router 1 from router 4. So. Uh, let's go and change this behavior. I want to go to router 3 and tell ISP1 that this link is not a desirable link. Do not use this. I go to router 3, go to routing filters, and here you can see that I have created a filter. Let me create it again so that you can see this. If I click on plus sign, I go and select the chain. I want the chain name to be MID, that is multi-exit discriminator. What is the prefix? I can select the prefix or I can leave it uh, blank so that all prefixes are included. But the only prefix that I am interested in is 1110-24. Now go to Actions, Pass-Through is OK, Accept is OK, you can select each of these. Let's go to BGP action, and here you can select the set BGP mid. Mid is kind of metric, or cost of the link that you are advertising. So I am going to uh, in, uh, enter a very high cost, for example, 10,000, huh? 10,000 is good cost. Click on apply, now I have a filter. Now I need to go to rod in BGP, go to peers, select ISP1, and I am advertising this to ISP1, so I need to select it as my output filter. Select MED, click on Apply, and click on OK. 
Now let's go to ISP1 and see the result. If I go to ISP1, now I can see that this route is not preferred. And the route through router 4 is selected. If I select to trace route this time, you can see that it goes through router 4 and after that to router 2 and router 1 and this is what I wanted to achieve. Stop and close this. Double click on this. And you can see the BGP metric is too high here and it is not selected. What is the default value for BGP mid? Actually there is no default value advertised. So you cannot, you know, uh, select this BGP mid if there is nothing in this attribute. And if I go to other BGP and select the instance, you can see that there is nothing regarding BGP metric here as opposed to what you see in Cisco. In Cisco you can select to uh, you know default the metric if there is nothing to a default but here you cannot set a default for a BGP metric but what I showed you just right now is well it was just to add a metric value to a specific length for or, or for a specific prefix and change the direction of traffic into our network using another link.